Brought to you by wikivd.com Drum Machine A drum machine is an electronic musical instrument designed to imitate the sound of drums' cymbals, other percussion instruments and often bass lines. Drum machines are most commonly associated with electronic music genres such as house music but are also used in many other genres. They are usually used when session drummers are not available, or if the production cannot afford the cost of a drummer. Also, many modern drum machines can also produce unique sounds as well as allowing the user to compose unique drum beats and patterns that might be difficult to perform by a human drummer. Most modern drum machines are sequences with a sample playback or synthesize a component that specializes in the reproduction of drum timbers. Early Drum Machines In 1930-32 the spectacularly innovative and hard-to-use Rhythmicon was developed by Leon Theremin at the request of Henry Cowell, who wanted an instrument which could play compositions with multiple rhythmic patterns based on the overtone series that were far too hard to perform on existing keyboard instruments. The invention could produce 16 different rhythms each associated with a particular pitch, either individually or in any combination including on mass if desired, received, with considerable interest when it was publicly introduced in 1932. The Rhythmicon was soon set aside by Cowell and was virtually forgotten for decades. The next generation of rhythm machines played only pre-programmed rhythms such as Mambo Tango or Bossa Nova. In 1957, a Californian named Harry Chamberlain constructed a tape loop-based drum machine called the Chamberlain Rhythmate. It had 14 tape loops with a sliding head that allowed playback of different tracks on each piece of tape, or a blending between them. It contained a volume and a pitch, speed control, and also had a separate amplifier with bass treble and volume controls and an input jack for a guitar microphone or other instrument. The tape loops were of real acoustic jazz drum kits playing different style beats with some additions to tracks such as bongos, clave castanets, etc. In 1959, Wurlitzer released an electromechanical drum machine called the Sideman, which was the first ever commercially produced drum machine. The Sideman was intended as a percussive accompaniment for the Wurlitzer organ range. The Sideman offered a choice of 12 electronically generated predefined rhythm patterns with variable tempos. The sound source was a series of vacuum tubes which created 10 preset electronic drum sounds. The drum sounds were sequenced by a rotating wiper arm, with contact brushes on it that swept around a phenolic panel, with corresponding contacts arranged in a pattern of concentric circles across its face. These were spaced in certain patterns to generate parts of a particular rhythm. Combinations of these different sets of rhythms and drum sounds created popular rhythmic patterns of the day and more waltzes, fox trots, etc. These combinations were selected by a rotary knob on the top of the side man box. The tempo of the patterns was controlled by a slider that increased the speed of rotation of the wiper arm. The sideman had a panel of 10 buttons for manually triggering drum sounds and a remote player to control the machine while playing from an organ keyboard. The sideman was housed in a mahogany cabinet that contained the sound generating circuitry, amplifier and speaker. In 1960 Raymond Scott constructed the rhythm synthesizer and in 1963 a drum machine called Bandito the Bongo Artist. Scott's machines were used for recording his album Soothing Sounds for Baby series. During the 1960s, implementation of rhythm machines were evolved into fully solid state. From early electromechanical with vacuum tubes and also size were reduced to desktop size. From earlier floor type, in the early 1960s a home organ manufacturer Gilbranson cooperated 
with an automatic musical equipment manufacturer Seberg Corporation, and released early compact rhythm machines Rhythm Print, although at that time, these size were still as large as small guitar amp head due to the use of bulky electromechanical pattern generators. Then in 1964, Seberg invented a compact electronic rhythm pattern generator using diode matrix and fully transistorized electronic rhythm machine with pre-programmed patterns select a rhythm was released. As the result of its robustness and enough compact size, these rhythm machines were gradually installed on the electronic organ as accompaniment of organists and finally spread widely. In the early 1960s a nightclub owner in Tokyo, Tutomu Kato was consulted from a notable accordion player Tadashio Sanai about the rhythm machine he used for accompaniment in club Wurlitzer side man. Osanai, a graduate of the Department of Mechanical Engineering at University of Tokyo, convinced Kato to finance his efforts to build better one. In 1963, their new company Kyogikin released their first rhythm machine, Donkomatic DA20 using the vacuum tube circuits for sounds and mechanical wheel for rhythm patterns. It was a floor-type machine with built-in speaker and featuring a keyboard for the manual play in addition to the multiple automatic rhythm patterns. Its price was comparable with the average annual income of Japanese at that time. Then, their effort was focused on the improvement of reliability and performance along with the size reduction and the cost down. Unstable vacuum tube circuit was replaced with reliable transistor circuit on Donkomatic DC-11 in mid-1960s and in 1966. Bulky mechanical wheel was also replaced with compact transistor circuit on Donkomatic D20 and D11. In 1967 Mini Pops MP2 was developed as an option of Yamaha Electone and Mini Pops was established as a series of the compact desktop rhythm machine. In the United States Mini Pops MP3, MP7 etc. were sold under Univox brand by the distributor at that time Unicord Corporation. In 1965 Nippon Columbia filed a patent for an automatic rhythm instrument. It described it as an automatic rhythm player which is simple but capable of electronically producing various rhythms in the characteristic tones of a drum, a piccolo and so on. It has some similarities to Seberg's slightly earlier 1964 patent. In 1967, Ace Tone founder Akutaro Kakehashi developed the preset rhythm pattern generator using diode matrix circuit which has some similarities to the earlier Seberg and Nippon Columbia patents. Kakehashi's patent describes his device as a plurality of inverting circuits and or clipper circuits which are connected to a counting circuit to synthesize the output signal of the counting circuit where the synthesized output signal becomes a desired rhythm. Ace Tone commercialized its preset rhythm machine called the FR1 Rhythm Ace in 1967. It offered 16 preset patterns and 4 buttons to manually play each instrument sound. The rhythm patterns could also be cascaded together by pushing multiple rhythm buttons simultaneously, and the possible combination of rhythm patterns were more than a hundred. The FR1 was adopted by the Hammond Organ Company for incorporation within the latest organ models. In the US, the units were also marketed under the Multivox brand by Peter Sorkin Music Company and in the UK, marketed under the Bentley Rhythm Ace brand. A number of other preset drum machines were released in the 1970s, but early examples of the use can be found on the United States of America's eponymous album from 1967-8. The first major pop song to use a drum machine was Saved by the Bell by Robin Gibb, 
which reached in Britain in 1969. Drum machine tracks were also heavily used on the Sly, on released in 1971. Sly. To have a number pop single that used a drum machine, that single was Family Affair. The German Krautrock band can also used a drum machine on their song Peking O. The 1972 Timmy Thomas single Why Can't We Live Together, Funky Me, featured a distinctive use of a drum machine and keyboard arrangement on both tracks. Another early example of electronic drums used by a rock group is Obscured by Clouds by Pink Floyd. From early in 1972, the first album on which a drum machine produced all the percussion was Kingdom Comes Journey. Recorded in November 1972 using a Bentley rhythm ace. French singer-songwriter Elie Acuto Ferre mixed a drum machine with a symphonic orchestra in the song. Je timeise bien to say us, in his album Le Respoir released in 1974. Asamu Kitajima's progressive psychedelic rock album Ben Zaiten also utilized drum machines and one of the album's contributors Haruomi Hosono would later start the electronic music band Yellow Magic Orchestra in 1977. Drum Sound Synthesis A key difference between such early machines and more modern equipment is that they use sound synthesis rather than digital sampling in order to generate their sounds. For example a snare drum or maraca sound would typically be created using a burst of white noise whereas a bass drum sound would be made using sine waves or other basic waveforms. This meant that while the resulting sound was not very close to that of the real instrument, each model tended to have a unique character. For this reason, many of these early machines have achieved a certain cult status and are now sought after by producers for use in production of modern electronic music most notably the Roland TR-808. Programmable Drum Machines In 1972 Echo released the Computer Rhythm which was the first programmable drum machine. It had a six-row push-button matrix that allowed the user to enter a pattern manually. The user could also push punch cards with pre-programmed rhythms through a reader slot on the unit. Another standalone drum machine released in 1975, the Pyre programmable drum set was also one of the first programmable drum machines, and was sold as a kit with parts and instructions which the buyer would use to build the machine. In 1975, Ace Tone released the rhythm producer FR15 that enables the modification of the pre-programmed rhythm patterns. In 1978 Roland released the Roland County Route 78, the first microprocessor-based programmable rhythm machine with four memory storage for user patterns. In 1979 a simpler version with four sounds Boss Drive 55 was released. Digital Sampling The Lin LM1 drum computer was the first drum machine to use digital samples. It also featured revolutionary rhythmic concepts such as swing factors, shuffle accent, and real-time programming all of which have since rooted themselves in beatbox technology. Only about 500 were ever made but its effect on the music industry was extensive. Its distinctive sound almost defines 1980s pop and it can be heard on hundreds of hit records. From the era including Phil Collins in The Air Tonight, The Human League's Dare Gary Newman's Dance, Devers New Traditionalists and Rick Hocasek's Beatitude, Prince bought one of the very first LM1s and used it on nearly all of his most popular albums including 1999 and Purple Rain. Many of the drum sounds on the LM1 were composed of two chips that were triggered at the same time and each voice was individually tunable with individual outputs. Due to memory limitations, a crash cymbal sound was not available except as an expensive third-party modification. 
A cheaper version of the LM1 was released in 1982 called the Lindrum, priced at $2,995. Not all of its voices were tunable but Crash Cymbal was included as a standard sound. Like its predecessor the LM1 it featured swappable sound chips. The Lindrum can be heard on records such as The Cars Heartbeat City and Giorgio Moroder's soundtrack for the film Scarface. It was feared the LM1 would put every session drummer in Los Angeles out of work, and it caused many of LA's top session drummers to purchase their own drum machines and learn to program them themselves in order to stay employed. Lin even marketed the Lindrum specifically to drummers. Following the success of the LM1, Oberheim introduced the DMX, which also featured digitally sampled sounds and a swing feature similar to the one found on the Lin machines. It became very popular in its own right, becoming a staple of the nascent hip-hop scene. Other manufacturers soon began to produce machines and more the sequential circuits drum tracks and Tom the Emu drumulator and the Yamaha RX-11. In the 1986 Spectrum by Cheetah Marketing, an inexpensive 8-bit sampling drum external module for ZX Spectrum was introduced, and its price was less than £30 when similar models cost around £250. Roland TR-808 and TR-909 machines the famous Roland TR-808, a programmable drum machine, was also launched in 1980. At the time, it was received with little fanfare as it did not have digitally sampled sounds. Drum machines using digital samples were more popular in the early 1980s. In time, however, the TR-808 along with its successor the TR-909, would become a fixture of the burgeoning underground dance electro house techno R and hip hop genres mainly because of its low cost and the unique character of its analog generated sounds, which included five unique percussion sounds the hum kick, the ticky snare, the tishy hi hats, and the spacey cowbell. It was first utilized by Yellow Magic Orchestra in the year of its release after which it would gain further popularity with Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing and Africa Bambata's Planet Rock in 1982. In a somewhat ironic twist it is the analog-based Roland machines that have endured over time as the Lin sound became somewhat overused and dated by the end of the decade. The TR-808 and TR-909's beats have since been widely featured in pop music and can be heard on countless recordings up to the present day. Because of its space and long decay, the kick drum from the TR-808 has also featured as a bass line in various genres such as hip-hop and drummer bass. Since the mid-1980s the TR-808 and TR-909 have been used on more hit records than any other drum machine and has thus attained an iconic status within the music industry. MIDI Breakthrough Because these early drum machines came out before the introduction of MIDI in 1983, they use a variety of methods of having their rhythms synchronized to other electronic devices. Some use a method of synchronization called DIN Sync or Sync 24. Some of these machines also output analog CV gate voltages that could be used to synchronize or control analog synthesizers and other music equipment. The Oberheim DMX came with a feature allowing it to be synchronized to its proprietary Oberheim parallel bus interfacing system developed prior to the introduction of MIDI. Alesis HR16B, HR16 greater than by the year 2000. Standalone drum machines became much less common being partly supplanted by general-purpose hardware samplers controlled by sequences software-based sequencing and sampling and the use of loops and music workstations with integrated sequencing and drum sounds. TR-808 
and other digitized drum machine sounds can be found in archives on the internet. However, traditional drum machines are still being made by companies such as Roland Corporation, Zoom Korg, and Alesis, whose State Route 16 drum machine has remained popular since it was introduced in 1991. There are percussion-specific sound modules that can be triggered by pickups, trigger pads, or through MIDI. These are called drum modules. The Alesis D4 and Roland TD8 are popular examples. Unless such a sound module also features a sequencer, it is, strictly speaking, not a drum machine. Programming Programming of drum machines are varied by the products. On most products, it can be done in real time. The user creates drum patterns by pressing the trigger pads as though a drum kit were being played, or using step sequencing. The pattern is built up over time by adding individual sounds at certain points by placing them as with the TR-808 and TR-909 along a 16-step bar. For example, a generic 4 on the floor dance pattern could be made by placing a closed hi-hat on the 3rd, 7th, 11th and 15th steps, then a kick drum on the 1st, 5th, 9th and 13th steps, and a clap or snare on the 5th and 13th. This pattern could be varied in a multitude of ways to obtain fills, breakdowns and other elements that the programmer sees fit which in turn could be sequenced. With song sequence, where essentially the drum machine plays back the programmed patterns, from memory in an order the programmer has chosen. The machine will quantize entries that are slightly offbeat in order to make them exactly in time. If the drum machine has MIDI connectivity, then one could program the drum machine with a computer or another MIDI device. Comparison with live drumming while recordings in the 2010s are increasingly using drum machines, scientific studies show there are certain aspects of human-created rhythm that machines cannot replicate or can only replicate poorly such as the feel of human drumming and the ability of a human drummer to respond to changes in a song as it is being played live on stage. Human drummers also have the ability to make slight variations in their playing such as playing ahead of the beat or behind the beat for sections of a song in contrast to a drum machine that plays a pre-programmed rhythm. As well human drummers play a tremendously wide variety of rhythmic variations that drum machines cannot reproduce. Labor Costs Drum machines developed out of a need to create drum beats when a drum kit was not available. Increasingly drum machines and drum programming are used by major record labels to undercut the costly expense of studio drummers. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?